Hello everybody. I hope you're doing well and keeping safe. I'm Mayank Maria, practice director at Everest Group, and today I'm here to announce the launch of Everest Group's Engineering Services Peak Matrix Provider of the Year awards. There's no denying the fact that engineering service providers have become very crucial for enterprises to carry out their engineering work streams. Today, it's not just scaled talent at reasonable costs that these service providers offer, but it's also about their infrastructure, their domain expertise, the ecosystem that they are able to orchestrate, and also the IP and solutions that these service providers have invested in that has helped them become more strategic to enterprises on their engineering initiatives. If you look at the numbers uh, across the past five to seven years, barring the year 2020, of course, which was an anomaly, uh, outsourcing has been witnessing a very uh, healthy growth of 10 plus percent. And we expect the momentum, the growth momentum to continue in the near future as well. Now Everest Group through its uh, peak matrix framework assesses service providers on their vision and capability as well as market impact. During the period of October 2020 to September 2021, we conducted five such assessments in the engineering services space, covering more than 50 service providers. Uh, given the uh, diverse nature of assessments and the rich data sets that we had, we thought, why not also go back to the market with an aggregated view of who the consistently top performing service providers are. And that has led us to launch this inaugural edition of Engineering Service Provider of the Year Awards. Now, without further ado, why don't we get into the results? Uh, you'd be seeing the results on your screen now, and while you review them, let me share some of my observations. First, very interestingly, 10 out of the top 15 service providers that we've recognized are broad-based service providers. Now, the areas that we've assessed, uh, you'd understand that they play out at the cusp of physical and digital worlds. And that has uh, been helpful for the broad-based service providers to uh, portray very strong capabilities as well as market impact. Uh, you'd also notice a lot of ties across ranks. Uh, I'll not talk about all of them, but let me talk about the top one. Uh, the top rank is tied between Capgemini, HCL, and TCS. Interestingly, again, all three of them being broad-based players. But the kind of commitment they've had towards engineering services, the kind of investments they've made, and which, of course, has translated into significant market impact across all the verticals and horizontals that we assessed, that has helped them to secure this leadership position. Uh, if you talk about some of the pure play companies, uh, we featured LTTS, Harman, Alton, Signed, and Tata Alexi among the top 15. These companies, uh, they also have fairly significant portfolios and plays across the uh, areas that we've assessed. But while they'll be strong in some, they'll still be building their portfolios and capabilities in some others. Though there's no denying the fact that these players also recognize digital engineering as a very significant theme and are investing towards it. Lastly, we've also uh, recognized five players as challengers. So an enterprise can look at these challengers as credible alternatives to the leaders. Interestingly, four out of these five challengers are also uh, broad-based players. But uh, the interesting things to note about these challengers are essentially they've uh, made significant plays in select pockets of the engineering services space and they've proved their mettle in them. While they continue to expand, they continue to explore other opportunities to invest into. That's largely what I wanted to share today and I hope you found this useful. Should there be interest to discuss any of the aspects of this assessment uh, uh, in greater detail, feel free to reach out to us. Thank you and have a nice time ahead.